the observant amongst you will notice I've put my pegboard on the wall now because my last exploit goggling around on the lawn was a trifle ungainly shall we say this should make it a lot cleaner and simpler and I'll have gravity on my side helping me tug the limbs down the reason I'm doing this is because I've now made a Dacron string which will stretch like old knicker elastic I can get the bow on here, I can sort of get it braced, help the string to bed in see if it's too long, too short or whatever and it will just make me less liable to hurt myself let's give it a whirl here we have one I prepared earlier now I think I'll I'll put that limb, the one with the mark, to the right, just in the in the name of consistency. Now I've zoomed in a bit and I've loosened the pegs off so I can get the damn things in and out now. So let's see if we can pull it back a bit further. It's still not easy, but it gives me a bit more control. I can take it back a bit, let it relax, let it settle in, then try and get my string on. Oh, Pusser! No, no, no! I've got baby cat here. Just want to say hello, please. Uh, here's my Dacron bowstring. It serves to where it goes onto the knock. Then it's the two halves are clenched together, a bit of serving, another little bit of serving there, serving in the centre, and so on. Because apparently they don't twist the strings. Uh, there you go. It's nowhere near going on yet, but um, I'll just pop it there for the hell of it. Another notch. And this way, if it does go bang, it's less likely to go bang in my face. Uh, well, it could still flip and smack me one. There we go. Not sure quite where we had it back last time. Got a long way to go yet. The problem with this Dacron string is I'm going to have to bend it back a long way to get it strung, then it will stretch the string out. Well, I'm tempted to let it rest there for a bit. Uh, shifty. Let's just get the old string to compare. There's the old string with me adjuster so I can see. No, I must have had it back further than that. I must have come back to that hole. Close but no cigar. I might be able to fiddle that on. Yeah, there we go. So it's got that fiddled on.
Now watch that string stretch. There you go. Well, not as far as I thought it might. There you go, she's strung with a hook of string. Now what I want to do is reinforce these knocks with either leather or horn. But I might let that settle for a bit. That's not too bad. So I'm not quite sure if I ought to make fancy string bridges here or what. I mean, I've rounded that slightly. What I might do is just extend that serving or put a pad there, maybe a temporary leather pad or a little horn bridge or just round it off a bit more. But for now it's, you know, slow and steady. I can round the knocks off a bit more, perhaps get some leather in there, maybe go a bit deeper, get some leather on there or because the lever is actually two bits of wood, I don't know if you can see the join there, it's been suggested you, you saw down and insert like a, a thin slat of, of horn, but that's something to think about. Oh, that was better, wasn't it? I don't know if I got that off the, over the levers then. Uh, yeah, I can feel that. You notice I was getting back further, but I'm coming up higher and doing that slightly warbo style thing. I think that'll do for now. I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to hurt the bow. Yeah, you can see how it's asymmetric. So what we should do is strap this. If I pull that in. That puts extra bend onto that limb. So I might do that, strap that up with some rubber, then leave it on the on the magic rig for a bit. So there you can see pulling that in there has caused that to bend more, which should even it out a bit. You can also see it's trying to bend that way on both limbs. So I'll force the string over a bit. I'm new to this game, remember, so don't be too hard on me. But apparently all the tillering is done with heat and pressure. So all the stuff I know about ordinary bows is pretty much irrelevant. Well, no, it's not. No, no skills are, are wasted, but it's a it's certainly a heavy duty learning process. But you'll see, slow and steady wins the day. I'm not going mad. A little bit at a time. And I'm going to let that rest. Give it an hour or two. What's the time? Ten past two. Three o'clock is tea time. I hope you are all adhering to the three o'clock tea time rule. Because I think it's actually government policy now. Because of Covid, everyone should have tea at three o'clock. <laughs> 